This is one of the single best ways that you can improve your life with AI. There are several popular AI voice dictation tools like Super Whisper and Whisper Flow and Willow. I've tried all of them, but I recently switched to Willow because of a few features that completely changed how I work. In this video, I'm going to show you three things. First, I'll give you a quick tour of the app. Second, I'll do a side-by-side -side accuracy test against Apple's own dictation so you can see the difference. And third, this is the big one, I'll show you style presets that automatically adapt your voice to any context. Same thought, three completely different results. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Of course, saving the best for last, there's a hidden feature inside Willow that turns it into something that's completely magical. So keep watching because, well, it's worth it. All right, let me show you how this works. This is Willow on Mac. Okay, so this is what the Willow app looks like. We've got the history here in the center of everything that I've recorded. And then we've got some stats to keep track of how much I'm using this tool. There's a few different settings and things that we can play with inside Willow. So let's just go through those really quickly. So if you've recorded anything with Willow, you have the option to copy it right here. Now, once we leave the home page, we have the dictionary here, and this is where you can add various terms. This is perfect if you have a brand of your own and you it has some special spelling, a certain word is capitalized, and you wanna make sure that that is always stylized appropriately for the things that you're writing. Next, we have style matching. So this is a big part of Willow that makes it so special. And we're going to be going through it in detail throughout this video. But essentially it can change how it formats the text for you based on which app you're using now a few more things to look at here they have a fast dictation toggle here in the sidebar in my testing so far the regular mode is so fast that i can't imagine why you would even need to turn this on and when i have turned it on i haven't seen a big difference in the results i'm guessing it's super effective if you're recording longer conversations. I haven't recorded anything that's more than a few minutes, so I can't confirm that, but I'm guessing that's probably the best use case because the regular mode is already super fast. Now inside your settings, you have a few options here. You can set your preferred hotkey. The default is the function key, and that's what I use. But if you have something else you want to assign, or if you want to assign hotkeys for the different modes, you can do that. And then you have a few options for privacy here. You can turn on or turn off context awareness. Personally, I'm not working on anything that's super sensitive, so I use context awareness and it really improves the results that I'm getting. If you're a creator like me, they have a creator mode. You'll see it throughout this video. It's a little pop-up on the screen that shows that I'm dictating with Willow Voice when I'm using it. Actually a huge feature for me. That way I don't have to explain it and say, by the way guys, Willow is transcribing my voice. The viewer can just see it, right? And that's basically the entire app. Basically when you're getting started, you just toggle a few of those settings and you're ready to go. You never have to look at this again. Okay, so now watch how easy it is to actually use this tool. I've got an Apple note pulled up here so that we can just see what's going on. All I have to do is press the function key and we're getting this little pop-up here that says I'm dictating with Willow Voice. And then when I release that key, you can see that it's immediately transcribed exactly what I said into the Apple note. Most of the time, this is how you're going to be using Willow. It's just that simple. You're pressing a key and releasing it. I mean, you can immediately see how valuable that is, right? But now let's say you're prompting something longer and you don't want to hold the key down for a few minutes or something, right? What you can do is you can double tap the function key and then it's gonna be locked. You can see this top little lock here that shows that it's locked and still recording, right? And it's going to record everything I'm saying, no matter how long I sit here. And if I say, um, or like, or uh, like things like that, it will figure out what the actual sentence is the best it can and write it out properly in the text. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna click function again. And then it just immediately threw all the text into the Apple note there. So you can see it actually did it perfectly. It figured out that I was saying um and like as examples and then it just left them in in that way, which makes total sense. So you can see it basically just crushed that. And if you're someone who likes to do brain dumps and just ramble on and get a lot of words out of your head, that is an amazing use case, right? Now, another thing I want to note here is that Willow is built to handle whispering. So maybe you're someone who likes to work in a coffee shop and you can't speak at full volume like I am right now. So instead you can actually whisper and it's trained specifically to handle the sound of your voice in whisper form. So if I 
hold function down and whisper to Willow. It's still going to figure out exactly what I want to say. I don't know if my mic even picked that up, but you can see here it got it perfectly. And just for reference, it's actually picking up from the MacBook mic, not this fancy mic here. So I'm pretty far away from the MacBook and it still caught that whisper. So you can do that anywhere you want and you're not going to be a distraction to those around you. You can just whisper away. This means you can use it in coffee shops, co-working spaces, anywhere you'd feel awkward talking at full volume. I was using it in a coffee shop this week and nobody noticed or cared. So it's simple and it's seamless, but none of that matters if the accuracy sucks. I wanna see for myself just how much better Willow really is. So I'm going to dictate the exact same thing into Apple's built-in dictation and into Willow. Same words, same pace, let's see what happens. Okay, so to showcase these differences here, I'm going to try and do both at the same time. I have a little pre-written paragraph I'm going to read and we're just going to run it. So first I'm going to turn on Apple Dictation and then I'll turn on Willow. So I need to get three things done before my 2.30 meeting. Number one, um, export the final cut at 1080p. Number two, upload it to YouTube with the SEO tags. And number three, uh, send, send the link to my editor at hello at joseph.so the whole process usually takes about four to five minutes but honestly like i'm hoping to cut that down to 30 if the api doesn't time out again what do you think should i just batch everything and run it overnight instead so you can see the different results we got so this just this is apple dictation up top and then this is willow below so we can see here it said i said 230 and it put it as 230 here it realized it was a time and then it made a list of the numbered things that i need to do and then it got the email address right even though it's a weird one with a dot so it got the email here correct but apple got it wrong and then you can see here it's i said usually takes about 45 minutes but honestly like and then here i said usually takes about 45 minutes but i'm hoping to cut that down to 30. so much cleaner and it just figured that out on its own. And it did other things like it figured out that I said SEO tags here when Apple Dictation thought it said SCO. And then it did 1080p correctly here for the resolution, but up here it just put a random P with a space, which is not how you typically would see that. So I think you can very clearly see how much higher quality the results are here if you use Willow instead of the standard Apple mode. With Apple, I'd spend more time fixing errors than I saved by not typing, right? It defeats the whole point. With Willow, I dictate, glance at it, and move on. It's most likely 90 to 100% correct. I can rely on it. The correction time is basically zero. And it's also learning constantly. It's picking up names or brands that I mentioned, but the style presets I mentioned earlier, that's where Willow stands out. It allows you to use this tool everywhere. Let me show you what I mean. The way you write an email to a client is completely different from how you text your friends. Your voice is your voice. You shouldn't have to mentally switch modes just to sound appropriate. Instead, Willow can figure that out for you while you just continue being yourself. Same thought, but with a different preset, so you get a custom tailored output for that situation. Let's start with email. I have a email preset selected for formal. I've got an example email here that I sent to myself for this. So let's respond to it. So this is a newsletter opportunity to sponsor my newsletter. Hey, John, thanks for reaching out. Um, I would love to collaborate on an upcoming newsletter edition with you. Our rates for placements range from $750 to $1,250. And it's a little bit more expensive if you're the presenting par partner. So I will attach our full rate sheet below and you can let me know what you're interested in. We also do a quantity price break if you want to sponsor multiple editions. Let me know what you think. Thanks, Joseph. So just like that, you can see it cut out where I said, um, and everything looks perfect. Very professional. It did the, the hey and the thanks at the end perfectly. So everything's ready to send. I don't even have to think about it. To be honest, if I wasn't filming and this was a real email, I would have already pressed send. So yeah, that simple. For me personally, when I hand type out things, I think about them way more and it ends up taking me a lot longer because I'm second guessing sentence structure and various 
grammar things and I have to worry about all those things. But here's the thing, your Slack messages probably shouldn't sound like emails. For my work messages, I have it set to excited. So I'm gonna use more exclamation points, be a little bit more personable. So I just have Slack pulled up here in a random test channel and I'm gonna show you guys that when I use Slack, it's going to detect that I'm in Slack and then it's going to add exclamation points. So I could say, what's up Alex, how are you doing today? Um, thanks for that update. How's everything going with the new project that you've been working on? So you can see it's not that much different except it didn't do a line break for the beginning and then it did the exclamation point for thanks for the update. So it's just going to be a little bit more personable. Now, here's the casual preset for texting friends and family, anyone you don't need to be professional for. Watch this. So maybe you're communicating with a friend and it would be weird to be super formal and use a bunch of punctuation. So if you go to your casual messages and you select extremely casual, you're going to get a result like this. So, you know, if I could, I could just say, hey, what are our plans for dinner later tonight? And you can see we get a very different result from everything else we've seen so far in the video. So it's not capital, there's no commas and no periods. Very simple. It should still remove the, the ums and the likes and stuff. So if I say, hey, um, what do you think uh, that we want to do for dinner tonight? So you're still getting correction it's not leaving in the mistakes that you would get from just typical Apple dictation mode, right? You're still getting a cleaned up message. It's just more human, which is huge. Because if you were getting the more formal version in for text messaging, you wouldn't even really want to use it that way. Same dictation power, but the results look like a hand typed message because that's the point. The casual preset looks like something that an AI would never write because whoever formatted that writing was a bit lazy, right? Like an actual human. So you've got email mode for clients, you've got formal mode for your coworkers, and then you've got casual for your friends. Same voice automatically adapted to each context. But do you remember that hidden feature I mentioned at the beginning? Well, let's talk about it now. Here's what most people don't realize about Willow. It's not just a dictation tool. There's an AI assistant built directly into it. So just like you might prompt ChatGPT, you can actually prompt Willow from anywhere. So I can say, hey Willow, where is Nashville located? And then it'll actually answer it in the text field wherever I'm working. So I just pasted it in Nashville is located in Tennessee. And then I also love that you can select text and then use the assistant to edit the text. So for example, I could select this text here and I could prompt Willow. I could say, hey Willow, can you write a two to three sentence paragraph about this? And see, it took that one sentence and then it wrote a longer paragraph. So think about the power of that. You can actually have Willow write way more than what you've actually spoken. I could say, I could select this and I could say, hey Willow, write a full blog post about this. And it's gonna take a little bit longer here because it is generating a lot more text. But if we wait a second, it should create an actual blog post. So just like that, you can see it can write a lot and you could go longer, I could say write a, a thousand word blog post or whatever. I find that this is really powerful if we go into something like Claude. So let me open up Claude here. So we could say something like, hey Willow, could you write a detailed text prompt that instructs Claude to create a Pomodoro timer app? And then it will get to work generating that. And so then here we go. We've got a full prompt here something that's more detailed than I would ever write myself, we can send that off to Claude here. So now Claude is getting to work coding. Okay, and now it's done coding, so here we go. Here's the Pomodoro timer that it just created. It's got the various features that Willow instructed Claude to code up, tasks and dark mode, so we've got a built-in dark mode and everything, right? So. Basically, you can use Willow as a prompt, a text expansion tool, right? So obviously this becomes really valuable when you are custom tailoring your ideas and everything, but you can see how this could be really useful. I mean, we didn't have to think about anything, right? 
Willa figured out the prompt and then Claude got to work. It's not just transcribing what you say, it's improving your communication. Everything is just faster and more effective this way. But here's the thing, typing on your phone is even worse. I know I'm always hitting the wrong keys when I'm typing really fast. Willow for iOS makes mobile productivity actually possible. This is another amazing feature of Willow. They have one of the best AI voice dictation features designed for your mobile phone. So I've got it set up here with all of my same personalization settings on my phone. And if I open up my notes app, I have the custom Willow keyboard installed. So you can see it says activate Willow here. And if I click that, it will start recording my voice on my phone. So I've, I'm in the notes app and you can see my text cursors there and it's currently recording. And if I click the check mark, it will transcribe what I said. And you can see we have some text that's been added. So I'm gonna click speak again and I'm gonna say, hey, Alex, how are you doing today? What do you have in mind for dinner later tonight? And there we go. And it's just like what you would expect on the desktop version. But we can actually select this and I can click on the little pin button here and we can do several things to it. So we could choose to make it more friendly, more concise, or use Gen Z tone. We have a couple different custom options here, but let's say I just want to improve the writing and it will clean it up a little bit and I can click the check mark and it will inject that rewritten version. So that's incredibly useful, whether you're sending text messages to friends on your phone, or for me, I write a lot of emails on my phone and this has made that just a completely new, better experience, right? I spend a lot of time slowly typing things out on this touch keyboard and I make a lot of mistakes, but now I can just activate Willow and it will start recording everything and then it will give me a perfect email. And the other feature that's particularly unique to Willow is that it has the standard keyboard still here. So if you speak into Willow and record something, you can do that, but you can also still make text changes because you have the keys here that you can use if you want them. So you get the best of both worlds without having to make any sacrifices really. So that's Willow on Mac and iOS. If you wanna try it out for free, there's a link in the description. I've made some other videos about AI productivity tools and all kinds of other things that you might like. So if you enjoyed this one, check these out so you can discover some new tools. Thanks for watching all the way to the end, guys. It's been a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one.